Hello and welcome to the Fits and Healthy podcast. It is Fits Friday and I'm here live with my beautiful co-host, Cynthia McAllister. What's up, girl? Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing. <laughs> you doing. You doing. So so let me ask you this. Did you uh, do the workout this morning? I haven't done it yet. Nope. Did you Fridays see it? Are, I haven't, and I Woo! should be scared, I know. <laughs> yeah, you should totally be scared. Uh, in fact, Karen Horn messaged me, and she goes, oh, my gosh, I'm shaking. That eight minutes felt like 45 minutes. <laughs> he makes a 10-minute workout feel like it's forever, so. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm scared. But, but you get it done, and then it just, it, you're done for the it's day. It's done. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, so welcome to Fitz Friday Live. It is uh, early, still early here in California, but my East Coasters are already uh, up and, and at them with their day. Um, we are here. We are going to talk about the man in the mirror. the mirror. That literally has been stuck in my head all morning preparing for this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so the reason why, well, twofold, there's two reasons why I wanted to talk about this one, because I was going through your and my pictures, Symphony, and mm -hmm. realized that we have so many great pictures that we haven't even touched on. I know. And, that, <laughs> and that picture of you and I look of you and me looking in the mirror is one of my absolute favorite and we haven't used it at all. Do you yeah. realize that? No. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. now I'm brunette. So. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're like, wait, who's that blonde chick? <laughs> yeah, that's still me. <laughs> it's still you. It's still you. But um, but another reason is because I thought that there was great underlying meaning in that picture because yeah. there's so much that you can take from that picture when you look at it. So mm -hmm. tell me when you when you see that picture, when you first saw it, what were some of the things that came to your mind? I just thought it was a really powerful picture. Like I remember like when Lori, Lori had took it and then she was like, oh my gosh, I have to show you guys this. And she showed it to us and we were like, well, that's so cool. Like it's just, it's a very powerful picture. Exactly. Powerful is the exact word that came to mind as well. Um, it shows, it shows, so it's almost like my profile picture that, um, done by a local photography photographer here. Like mm -hmm there's a message behind it. You know, yeah. there's, there's a difference between the photographers that just take whatever and hope that there's at least one or two good pictures. Mm -hmm. And then there are the photographers, like these two photographers that we work with, you haven't worked with the one that I, that did my profile picture, but he's amazing too. But, um, yeah. but they, they tell a story in the pictures mm -hmm. and the picture definitely tells a story of two strong women that are strong, but feminine Mm -hmm. powerful of mind, powerful of spirit. And, um, and that totally ties in with what we are currently doing right now, because yeah. we're, we're approaching the second week of 12 weeks of this beta test group. And not, it's not just females. There are men in there too, but yeah. we, we are empowering people to change that voice that speak to them when they look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Now, as a coach, you and I both know that we, we, um, one of the challenges that we have with our customers and the people that we coach is taming that, that voice. Yeah. Right? I always go, like, I always joke that I'm not a health and fitness coach, that I'm a mindset coach <laughs> because that's what really has to change in order for somebody to commit to improving their health because they have to understand that they're deserving of it first. <sighs> I'm going to steal that. That's so true. <laughs> No, but it, it is true because, you know, let, let's face it, you can go on to any website or Pinterest or YouTube and, you know, get coached by, you know, a person that you don't know and mm -hmm. take the same advice. But it's until you change up here is that's the moment that everything changes. Mm -hmm. And so let's let's just talk about especially females. Um and, you know, not to underscore the pressure that men have as well, but there, I think there is an extra pressure on us females to look a certain way. Can mm -hmm. I, can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
that, that voice, how old were you when you first started realizing that you even had a voice when you looked into to the mirror and something started talking back to you? Oh, uh, it was probably like intermediate, like intermediate school, like fifth or sixth grade. Cause that's when like you start to notice boys or like you start to notice like your appearance needs to look a certain way or you need to act a certain way, you know? And so I think it was probably around like when I was maybe I want to say 10 or 11, maybe yeah. 12. And so when did you realize that you had the power to change that voice? Honestly, it probably wasn't up until about three years ago, mm. maybe even two. Mm. There you go. There you go. And you know what? I think that that's because you're what, 23? Mm-hmm. That's actually pretty early because I have a feeling that most people don't really even recognize that they have the ability to change that voice until later in life. Mm. Right. Pat Allen, she she's the one that we I, I talk about often. We talked about on the yin and yang episode. She's 83. I, I, I quoted wrong. She's not 84. She's 83. But she's a marriage, family and sex therapist here in Orange County. And she's the one who coined the term. Um, your your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your character and your character becomes your destiny. And mm. I love that because if we don't start with step number one, of changing the thoughts, then everything else is going down the wrong path. And especially when you are in a a group like this beta group where you're constantly measuring the data of inches and and weight and, and your pictures and whatnot, it's very easy to let that voice overcome you. And especially when it comes to comparison, right? Yeah. Oh man, I, I think that that's one of the reason why females have a hard time being friends with other females that are not secure in themselves because that voice in their head starts comparing to everyone, right? Mm. So, so when you when you look in the mirror, I know that people that follow you on Instagram, that if they follow your stories, they know that you have a, a morning routine of, of daily affirmations. Yeah. So tell tell everyone about that because I think that that's really important. That starts with that mind. Well, for example, I, and I've talked about this on multiple episodes, I've said how, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you're the first person that you talk to, like your thoughts are the first, basically conversation or things that you hear. Right. right. And so a couple years ago, when I was living in Seattle with my now husband, um, I would just wake up so angry every morning, like just angry. Like I was angry. I had to be up. I was angry. I had to get ready. I was angry that my scrubs were too tight. Cause I was gaining weight. Like I was just angry. I was mad at the world every morning. And it wasn't until my, he was my boyfriend at the time. He just like one morning got up and just like quietly came over and like, he just took me in his arms and he's like, why are you so angry? Like nobody's out to get you. And (laughs) that was like the first time, like I ever had like somebody say, nobody's out to get you. Because to me, in my mind, the whole world was like against me, like all odds were against me. It was horrible. Right. Right. And so that was like the first time that it was like brought to light, like, Oh, maybe the world like isn't out to get me. Like maybe I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be okay. Maybe. And so, so my daily affirmations are a huge thing because those are what starts my morning. And if I start my morning feeling and thinking that way, I have such a different day. Like if I don't do my morning affirmations, my whole day is off. So and true. so, yeah. And so because I have the power to control what I tell myself, I've written down those affirmations. And that's what I tell myself every day. Because if not, it's so easy to fall back into that habit of where I just felt like everybody was out to get me. Right. It's totally not the case. It was just my mindset. Your mind was out to get you. Yeah, Your mind, yes. honestly, you know, yeah. And I that was song actually- that pink has, and she says, I'm my own worst enemy. That was literally like my mind at the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and so many people, I mean, that's true for, I, you know, I would guess probably 95% of the people that listen to us. Right. Mm-hmm. I was listening to, um, Tony Robbins son being interviewed the other day. And it was cool because I mean, can you imagine the, <laughs> the advantage of being raised by Tony Robbins yeah. just when it comes to mindset, it's probably like the most mentally advanced child, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, <laughs> for real, yeah. for real. But he, um, he has this routine that he's had since he was a teenager that he goes on a morning walk and on the morning walk, he has thoughts of affirmation and thoughts of gratitude. And, you know, that's essentially what you and I both do on our own different levels. What I don't do it during my walk, but I do it during my my morning meditation and my gratitude journaling and whatnot. But, um, 
I just, I can't stress enough that that voice that starts off as soon as you get out of bed is the one that speaks to you in the mirror. And I always remind people, look, if you wouldn't say this to someone that you love, like your mom or your sister or your best friend or whatever, why would you say it to yourself? Mm Mm-hmm. And, and that, that's just a rule that some people have to constantly remind themselves so they can get out of that habit of speaking unkind words to their, their head when they look in the mirror. Right. Yeah, totally. And I think it even takes a little bit of affirmations to get to a point where you're willing to do affirmations because yes. if you are, if you are in a place where you don't like yourself in your mind, you're not going to be open to sitting there telling yourself kind things about yourself, you know? No. And so I think that even that takes a little bit of evolution or evolving your mental mindset just to get to a point where you know that affirmations are something that you are deserving of and that it's something, it's a tool that you can use to continue to empower yourself. Well, and also to get over the whole idea of, oh, that's so woo-woo. You know, I mean, a lot of people will hear this talk and roll their eyes and be like, I'm not going to talk in the mirror. Like yeah, yeah. it really does start with that. I mm-hmm. mean, if, if you, if you don't change that speaking to yourself in the mirror, then you're going to be stuck in the same rut and, and yeah. same cycle. And that's where it starts. It starts yeah. by changing your thoughts and that voice that, that you have in the back of your head, when you look in the mirror, first thing in the morning, when you're like, Oh, I woke up like this, be like, yes, <laughs> I woke up like this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know? And the thing is, is like, if I didn't practice affirmations, I wouldn't share my affirmations every day. Does that make sense? Like I wouldn't have been as, I wouldn't be confident enough to share that I do affirmations every day. Cause there's a lot of room for judgment. People will think you're woo woo, you know, Absolutely. but it's so funny because I'm sure there are still plenty of people that think I'm crazy for doing it, but I've had <laughs> so many people that are in my inner circle that I've never really been able to like help with the messages that I put out there that have just kind of mentioned to me, like I do affirmations now and it's totally changing everything just cause I've been watching you do it. And I'm like, that's really cool. Like that's really yeah, cool to me. So. That gives me chills for sure. Yeah. We can't have one episode without me getting chills at least once, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do we have any questions or any comments that we need to address before we, we get don't, going? But everybody's just really agreeing on, you know, how personal development is a huge thing that evolves that. Katie said that she used to be that person and she also used to believe that personal development was woo-woo, but she said also, so I'm assuming she has evolved from that. <laughs> now, now let's, let's ask the audience if they have any personal development that they recommend. And I will go ahead. I know that you and I both have um, personal development that we would recommend. I love, I'll start off by saying I love anything from Brene Brown, like she is so it's it's funny because when you first start listening to her she she's basically studied shame and you would think like wait how is that going to help me but her study of sh- of shame has led to these books that are just they're they're mind blowing they're they're life changing and so Brene Brown that's b r e n e with an apostrophe and then brown and sh- all of her books are available on audio i'm currently reading one of her most recent releases um, oh, of course I don't remember the name, but anyway, <laughs> it, who are some of your favorite personal development when it comes to that? Well, I think that honestly, like that's my most, not hated, but like that's the, <laughs> my least, my least favorite question is what personal development recommendations you have? Because for me, what I might need to hear may not be what you need to hear. And so I think it's really like you have to kind of self-assess and figure out what it is that you feel like you can work on and then find personal development based off of that. But there is one book that I believe is a one size fits all for anybody and everybody, including men. (laughs) And it's called You Are Badass by Jen Sincero. And it's my all time favorite personal development book. Like anybody with ears, I will tell them to read it because it's just a book about self empowerment and just stepping into the power and the talents that you already have. So, so that just gave me chills because I was about to tell you that one of my, (laughs) my new habits, which I didn't, I'm trying to think who I heard, um, say that they do this, but one of my new habits, because the thoughts that you go to bed with are Mm -hmm. literally, they get into your subconscious. And, and so I have started just in the last week going to bed. I found some comfortable because the, the iPhone, um, earplugs are are not earplugs, uh, headphones are not comfortable. So I found some comfortable ones that literally are just like go into my ears and I put it on my iPod that is in airplane mode because you don't want your phone outside because of EMF, but that's not the point of this. But so I have, (laughs) I have, you are a badass 
playing in my ears. I put on audible, there's a sleep timer. So I put it to 30 minutes and I literally go to bed listening to that book. And it's, it's pretty cool because that book really, I totally agree. It's one of those books that is a game changer for all sexes, all ages, all places in life. Yeah. Like mine is dog eared, highlighted, like corners full but like like it is like very well been used and loved and like any time that like I am drawing a blank on what like what personal development I want to use or anything I will always go back to that book because I always find something different with it and it's so not true. even just it's not for entrepreneurs it's for humans like any yes. clients that I have I always tell them because I always joke about how I'm a mindset coach I'm not a health and fitness coach that this is something that they need to read just so that they know that like, it's okay to step into your power. Like it's okay to uh, be happy with who you are, even though you're going through a process. Yes. I love that. Third time I got chills. I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> All right. So do we have any um, personal development comments on our, we do quite a few. Okay. So, let's, let's give some recognition. Okay. So Courtney, she said, don't sweat the small stuff and it's all the small stuff. Simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life by Richard Carlson. Ooh, I don't think I've read that. Have you read that? Uh Uh-uh. Okay. 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 Thanks Courtney. Shout out. (laughs) Katie says the five second rule. The universe has got your back and thinking greater by Stephen Furtick. Oh, and then my, um, my hometown friend, Waco, what's up, Kelly? She <laughs> said Ted, Ted Talk is amazing. Yeah. Or her Ted Talk is amazing. I'm assuming that you're talking about um, Sincero, uh, Jen Sincero for or the You Brene, Are a Bad Or Brene girl? Brown. Brene, Brene Brown, Brown or, okay. or Jen Sincero. Yeah. You know who another person that I really love is Mel Robbins. Um, oh, she yes. is great. I just recently like discovered her and like, she's like my gold mine right now. Like I'm obsessed with the information that she puts out there. Do you watch her just, on YouTube? I do. Yeah. Cause yeah. she's just so human about the way she explains it. Like she's not coming from a place of like, I'm an expert and I'm giving you these methods. It's like, this is what I had to do to get myself together basically. Right. And so she, she just, hit rock bottom. Yeah. She came from like just the place that she comes from and how she explains it. Like I said, it's, it's just so relatable. It's just so human and raw the way she explains it. It's like you're having a conversation, not where like a Tony Robbins is like pouring amazing information into you, (laughs) you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, I love her because she's just unapologetically her and she doesn't sugarcoat anything. She basically says it the way it is. And uh, Mel Robbins is definitely one. The five second rule was one of those books that as soon as I, I recommended it to my coaches, literally I got so much feedback, like, oh my gosh, that was the game changer. That was the game changer. Like that's what I needed. So, yeah. and, and you know, you, you made the point and I just want to drill it home is that you don't have to be a coach or, you know, an entrepreneur to read these books. These books just are life changing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Now Janice Burke said undoctored. That is one book I haven't read yet. I think I told Janice that, um, that that's a book that when Melissa was reading it, our mentor, uh, she mm-hmm. messaged me and she was like, you could have written this book. <laughs> so <laughs> there, was, there was part of me that's like, do I really want to read it then? <laughs> but I I've would heard be great super things intrigued about it. though, because I feel like that would be such a compliment that I would want to read it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will. And, and, and by the way, so anyone that, that likes audiobooks, cause that's how I learn the best is by listening to things. And that's, mm-hmm. that's why that's my main mode of teaching. Um, but audible has everything on sale for 50% off until December 14th. And so what? I didn't even know that. Oh, yes. I'm about to go shopping. <laughs> uh, yeah, for real, for real. The last time, the, the last time that they had that, I literally spent over $300 on audiobooks. Dang. Yeah. Because it, you know, you, you can, and none of them are really fiction. They're all, yeah, they're all personal development in some way, whether they're nutrition books, they're, um, you know, mindset books, there's entrepreneurial books, there's all sorts of great stuff. So, um, and if you guys don't know what audible is, it's attached to, um, Amazon. I pay 1599 a month to get at least one book credit. And that book credit, usually the book, if I were to just purchase it, it would be over 20 bucks. So, you know, it's a, sometimes it's a saving of five bucks. Sometimes it's a saving of 10 or 20, but you also, so get all these other kind of deals. So Audible is really awesome. I got no connection. I'm just trying to hook people up. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one that's a really, really good one, but you definitely have to be in the right mindset to read it. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a oh, Bleep yes. by Mark Manson. And it is such a good book. Again, the way he writes it is just so human and so just a way that you can connect with it. 
Absolutely. That book, I have to warn people in the first about, if you're listening to the book, the first 20 minutes or yeah. maybe not even 20, 15, I, I he says it, yeah. the F-bomb way more than the rest of the book. Yeah. And I remember if, if someone hadn't told me that, like the F-bomb doesn't off- offend me at all, but yeah. like, even for me, it I got was like, distracting. yeah, like, yeah. do you really need to use it that much? So, so if you can just get through like the first like 10 minutes of it, yes, <laughs> the rest yes. of it is amazing. But yeah, even at the, I mean, language like that doesn't bother me. We both know right. I'm a recovering swearaholic. Yes, so, you are. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, you are. But that it was a little bit distracting in the beginning, but it's, it's worth the listen if you could get through that. And I'm loving all of these recommendations. So yeah, Rachel Lau so said Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Have you read that? I haven't. I haven't either. I'm going to literally, I'm going to take my 50% off and I'm going to go <laughs> and I'm going to use all, <laughs> these, all these books. books. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. Ooh, Adrian Moses. Thank you. That I haven't heard of that either. These are some good ones. Have a New You by Friday, Dr. Kevin Lehman. I mean, I haven't heard of any of these. Have you? Mm -mm. Sweet. Own It by Tabitha Coffee. Thank you, Crystal Nichols. Um, Agreed on that one, Synthony. Subtle art of, yeah. (laughs) There's there's another one that's Unblank Yourself by Gary Bishop or Gary John Bishop that I've never, I've never read that, but I like the title, so I want to read it. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I I like the title too. (laughs) Oh, and then Jen Walter says, I think I got some books to read. Yes, you do, sister. Yes, you do. So any other questions that we have before we get going? Um, So Francisco just mentioned that, um, thank you both for what you are doing. This has helped me feel better about myself. I recently lost 30 pounds and people tell me you look so skinny and I feel like they're insulting me. I don't think that they're insulting you. I think that that's their way of trying to compliment you, but it's just a really poor way of trying to say it. (laughs) Right. Well, and, and also one thing that we have to remind the people, especially the people that have, you know, gotten healthier, whether it means losing weight or just more confident or whatever, if they have become better, oftentimes people that are stuck in a place that they can't get to that being better, feeling better, losing weight, whatnot. When they see that in other people, it's, it's very easy to get into a critical, critical stage. And, yes. and you know, it's, it's almost like the passive aggressive compliment, not to say that they're saying that it's, it's a little passive- backhanded almost. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Instead of saying, Oh my gosh, you look freaking awesome. What are you doing? You look skinny. Like, yeah. Yeah. I remember, I, I, I remember I had done, um, uh, the ultimate reset, which is a, a 21 day cleanse. And it's, it's totally for no purpose other than the fact of completely like cleaning out your body. And w- of course, weight loss happens because you're retaining things. And I did it. And one of my coworkers was like, Oh, I, I saw your results, but you look a little too skinny. You should eat a <sighs> cheeseburger. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I just had to remind myself one, she doesn't understand that it wasn't to lose weight. I know what my right. intentions were. And right. two, I won't stay this way. I, right. I won't stay this way. So, right. Right. Well, yeah. and I mean, just even think about that. Wait, you want me to eat a cheeseburger? Uh, like <laughs> I just, um, mm, yeah. That, but that's yeah. the thing is you, people's opinion, you have no control over, but how you interpret it and how you internalize it, you do have control over. Bingo. So just instead of being like, well, everybody's telling me I'm skinny. That like that you, that I look too skinny. That's mean. Just recognize the fact that people are taking notice of your hard work. Instead Absolutely. of saying I'm too skinny, people are recognizing my hard work. Absolutely. And that goes back to that voice that, that speaks mm-hmm. to your brain. When you look in the mirror, if, if you let those words of other people get into your brain and define you, that's where you start going in the wrong direction. So don't yeah. let other people's words, actions, opinions, mold who you think of, of how you think of yourself and how you yeah. speak to yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So key to love asked, um, do you have videos of your affirmation? I don't have videos of my affirmation. I, um, almost did a live on my Instagram the other night, but we did an episode on the power of a morning routine and we talk more in depth about the affirmations that we do. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, um, skinny people have feelings too. <laughs> Kimberly <laughs> Hall. I love it. All people have I love it. I love it. And, That's and Tammy, hilarious. Tammy Kirk just got on here. She's a reader. She loves to hold book and insert herself within. If you had to only give one recommendation, what would it be? And I think both of us uh, agree that you are a badass by Jen yeah. Sincero. 
for sure. Yep. That's that's a, a an amazing and book. And it's a short read too. It it's is. not very long. It's maybe like I want to say two or three hundred pages, if even that. Absolutely. It's it's Absolutely. not very big. Absolutely. So Oh, we've got a whole a whole bunch of comments. I love it. I love it when you guys comment and interact with us. Other opinion, <laughs> other people. So Nancy Cruz says, other people's opinions of me is none of my business. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite say- sayings for real, Nance. Um, I totally agree. It's none of your business. And yeah. people people tend to put their own insecurities on others instead of empowering with one another. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. Which is, that's where you have to know the difference and you have to take control of, like I said, not even just your thoughts, but how you're internalizing your environment around you and the conversations that you're exposed to and the way that people treat you, you have to, you have to do affirmations. You have to be kind to yourself because when you are, you carry yourself in such a different way. People can tell that you're empowered and that you're untouchable. Like people know that they could probably say the meanest thing to me or like my mother-in-law always teases me because she'll always take like bad screenshots of me or something and she's like I'm gonna post these I'm like do it like it just it doesn't bother me right <laughs> like two years ago I would have been like no <laughs> but mm-hmm. it just is you're you know being protective of your mental space and like I said how you internalize things and just making sure that you do everything you can to arm your mindset to make sure that people can't get through to you in a way that's going to be detrimental Absolutely. And you know, that goes back to my saying that I always say is that, that strong women build up other women Mm -hmm. to, to help them become strong women. And, um, you know, that not to say that I don't have my own insecurities because we're human and every single one of us on this planet have our own insecurities, but, um, those insecurities don't define my actions, my thoughts, my, my words. And, and ultimately I try my hardest to build other people up, not just other women, but I think we women are the worst at, you know, (laughs) taking each other down. Yeah, totally. You know, so totally. All right. Well, well, (laughs) Janice says I need to write a book. And then Laura is now saying book title suggestions for symphony. (laughs) (laughs) Lord have mercy. Maybe I'll write one one day. (laughs) Hashtag hot mess express, right? Didn't we already? (laughs) (laughs) A girl's guide to hot mess express. (laughs) Right. For real. For real. How to act like a CEO while looking like people of Walmart. (laughs) Love you, Laura. Is that Kinger. because I look like people of Walmart? No. no I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for spending this Friday morning with us. We we love uh, getting to start our day off with you guys and your comments and your your everything. We appreciate you greatly. If you haven't gone and downloaded the most recent episode of Fits and Healthy Podcast, go download it. Give us some feedback. Um, and we will see you guys next Friday. But before we leave, we've got a message for you from Miss Symphony. Mm -hmm. And this is, even if this is where you start with your affirmations and you say this every morning, because this is where my affirmation started. And that's why I share it with everybody who has ears is that you are a good person and you deserve good things to happen to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for spending this Friday with us. We love you and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Make sure that you find us on social media. You can find Symphony on Instagram and Facebook at Symphony. So that's C-I-N-T-H-A-N-I-E. And on Snapchat at Symphony P. And find me on social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Club Fitz Fitness. Remember, that's F-I-T-Z Fitness. And on Snapchat, just at Club Fitz. I appreciate your time listening so much. If you enjoyed this episode of the Fits and Healthy podcast, can you please go do me a favor and go subscribe at whatever platform that it is that you listen to podcasts. Leave a review. We read every single review and we appreciate the time that you take to leave your thoughts and opinions. Now, also remember, while I am a medical doctor, the information I provide here is not intended to provide medical advice or a professional diagnosis, opinion, treatment, or services to you or to any other individual. I am providing general information for educational and informational purposes only, and it is not a substitute for medical or professional care. You should not use this information in place of a visit, call, consultation, or the advice of your physician or other healthcare provider. The information I share is not intended to treat, cure, or diagnose any disease or medical condition. If you believe you have a medical emergency, just call 911 immediately or your physician.
Now, enough of that medical legal jargon. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I appreciate your time. Now go live a fit and healthy life. 